All right, let's look at this ang this uh, uh, problem. So if the force is 34.3i minus 22.9j minus 68.6k, so it, if it's already given to me in as a Cartesian vector, in, you know, in ijk form, uh, what is the magnitude of the force? That's easy. And what are its coordinate direction angles? So first, let's get the magnitude. The magnitude is just, uh, you'll know in 3D, it's instead of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it's like a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals d squared, uh, the magnitude is going to be the square root, so the magnitude is the square root of 34.3 squared, 22.9 squared, 68.6 squared. Take the square root, uh, the magnitude is 80 pounds. So that is the magnitude. Got it. All right, now what are its coordinate direction angles? Well, coordinate direction angles, how do I organize my thoughts and my problems? F equals FU. So in this case, I know F and I know the magnitude, and I'm just trying to find U. All right, so let's, let's write out this equation right here. F written in IJK form is this right here, right? That's what it gave me, 35.3 in the I minus 22.9 in the J, 68.6 in the K equals, what is the magnitude? Magnitude is 80. And what is u? u is cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. And so now here is where I'll say, hey, this is really three uh, different equations. My i equation, my j equation, and my k equation. So this is how I'm going I'm to look at my i equation. What's on the left-hand side? 34.3. What's on the right-hand side? 80 times, right, because I've distributed this, 80 cosine alpha. Right? So, you know, divide that 80 over inverse cosine. I've got alpha 64.6 degrees. Um, J, left-hand side of the equation, tw negative 22.9 equals 80 cosine beta. Beta is 107. All right. And K, negative 68.6 equals 80 cosine gamma, and I would solve for gamma. Gamma is 149 degrees. And that is it. I, I wanted the magnitude, that's 80, coordinate direction angles that you can just leave it separately as alpha is this, beta is this, gamma is this. Let's talk about this and see if this makes sense. These two components were negative. What do you notice about these two angles? Obtuse. And does that make sense that a negative coordinate direction angle, or a negative component would give you a coordinate direction angle that was greater than 180? Let's look at, you know, let's imagine this is the corner of the room right here. Uh, and this, uh, you know, gamma is 149. That means that this, this vector was kind of pointed below the floor, right? It was below the floor. Um, so something below the floor would give you an obtuse angle. And yeah, something below the floor would give you a negative Z component, right? This is positive Z. And so below the floor, yeah, it would be a negative Z component. So, so yes, and that's kind of something to, to note and memorize to double check your answers. Let's write it out right here. A negative component gives you an angle greater than 90 degrees. Now, you, you don't have to, the, the math does it for you. You, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything. That's what your calculator spits out for you. But it's good to, to kind of double check. A positive component, angle uh, less than 90 degrees. Yeah. Uh, what if there is no component? No component. So let's, let's say you're, it, it gave you a vector that did not have a J component. You know? What, what if there was no... So this is kind of a side note. This is... Separate from that problem. We're done with that problem. We're just talking about some of these quarter direction angles. What do you have if, if there's no J component? What does that mean beta is? 
What does that mean beta is? If there's no J component, let's look at our um, X, Y, that's a Y, Z. If there's no Y component, then maybe your vector is just plastered on this wall. If there's no Y component, then beta is 90 degrees. It's not zero. It is not zero. If there's no component, it doesn't mean that quarter direction angle is zero. It means it's 90 degrees. D do the math. Just say zero equals 80 cosine beta, and you would get beta of 90 degrees. Your calculator would spit it out for you. Okay? For this problem, as long as all your coordinate direction angles are to the positive axes, and as long as you're careful, you don't have to think about the signs. You don't have to think about the angles. Is this greater than or less than 90? The math does it for you. Your calculator does it for you, but you can use this to double check that your, do your answers make sense. All right?